I'm Anton. I'm Sean. <laughs> and I'm Andrew. <laughs> and together we are going to teach you how to paddle. Woo! First of all, we'll begin with how to hold a paddle, demonstrated by our assistant coach, Anton. Starting with our outside arm, you'll want to grip the shaft of the paddle one fist above the shoulders of the paddle. Next up, using our top arm, Comfortably wrap your fingers over the top of the T-bar handle, hooking your thumb underneath the handle. The next thing we'll be getting into is positioning our arms as we set up for the stroke. We'll be starting with a front view of our other assistant coach, Sean. Notice how he stacks his fist vertically by pushing his top arm outside of the boat. Now here's a top view of the same setup Notice how his top arm makes a slight crescent and his top fist is not too close or too far away from his face. Now that we've gone over our arm position, let's focus on our blade entry. We'll be starting with a video of Sean paddling. Let's freeze the frame at which he enters the water. Notice how he enters the water at a positive angle, allowing for him to get better pressure on the blade. The next thing we'll be getting into is foot placement, starting with one foot back. We usually recommend our beginners starting with one foot back and one foot forward to allow your hips to open up as you paddle and therefore increase your range of motion as you use your whole body in the stroke. Notice that the emphasis here is on allowing our hips to fully rotate as we go into the stroke. Now, for our more experienced paddlers, you are still able to rotate from your hips with both feet forward, as demonstrated here. Notice how Anton is being flexible with his legs and hips as he goes through the stroke, even with both feet forward. Next up, we'll be getting into catching in the stroke. Now catching is one of the most important parts of your stroke. Catching is the point at which you enter your blade in the water. It is important to have a quick, clean, and aggressive catch at the beginning of every stroke as it determines the effectiveness of each stroke. Now let's get into an example of paddling without any catch. Notice how Sean takes his time entering that blade into the water. Instead of catching up front, He's letting the water take his blade and bury it for him. At this point, he has already gone through much of his stroke before he is fully buried in the water. Now here's a clip of what it's like to paddle with very messy catch. As you can see, Sean is generating a lot of white water through his stroke. This will reduce the effectiveness of your stroke. The reason that Sean has messy catch in this video is because he is pulling his paddle before he is fully buried. In order to correct this, it is important to be able to bury up front quickly in the water and then pull after you are fully buried. Now let's revisit what it looks like to paddle with clean catch. As you can see, Sean is quickly and fully burying his blade up front as he gets straight into the stroke not wasting any time up front. This makes for a much stronger and effective stroke. In this freeze frame, notice how much further up he is fully buried before he initiates his pull. After having a solid catch, it is important to be able to follow through in the stroke. This means knowing which muscles are used in the stroke and activating on them as you go through your pull. After catching into the stroke, Sean uses his whole body to generate some long, powerful pulls in every stroke. As he paddles, he keeps his bottom arm straight. He sits up with his lower back, keeping that back straight and keeping his chest out. 
The final part of the stroke is your recovery back into the setup. Here is some rear view footage of Anton paddling. Notice that as he recovers, he exits slightly sideways out of the water and just barely skims the surface of the water with the tip of his blade. Now here's Wesley doing the same thing but from the front. And those are the basics of paddling. We hope you enjoyed watching this video and thank you for watching.